in this video I'm gonna I'm gonna show some of my deer hunting down in the down in northern Illinois. I have some very nice properties that I I have available to me for hunting. And as I show this scene here, this is one of the first days I was out hunting. And as I started with that pan or some cornfields and open country to the south, and then as I as I come around, I come up into what we call our you know, our good deer country. This has been CRP grass and brush ravines and really some ideal habitat for deer other wildlife beautiful place to go out and just sit alongside it's a very it's a hard place to hunt because it's so open that to try to get the deer close enough especially now here we're we're, we're hunting with a crossbow to start with and it's a, it's a challenge to to get them underneath you Well, okay, maybe not all that hard, but these these young bucks we're talking pre-rut, and they just go crazy, and they are just so vulnerable. What I'm after is I want good does to eat. Did I mention that in the pre-rut, these young bucks have lost any brain that they had? They are just they do the most dumb things. They don't care about anything, and here I've just climbed up in the stand an hour previous, and so my scent has to be hot down there around the base. And here it is coming in, it kind of looks up, but it doesn't happen. I'm in the same stand on another night. This nice little buck comes walking along, comes right under forward, and then he ends up coming right underneath the the tree, I think that about this time he's walking up there. I have a game camera down there, so I'm kind of got I'm filming it from both directions, I think. But he's just oblivious to a human being sitting in a tree over his head. Now, I do have the wind at, at my, it, he's not smelling me, and I didn't walk where he is. So, I mean, I, I can't hold too much against him. He's not like that one the previous time that came walking over and started banging on my ladder. did mention having that trail cam down below that stand, so we're going to be looking here at some of the things that went on when I wasn't up above that stand. There's been different, there was a, quite a few does and a lot of coyotes, and that was a good variety of some different bucks coming along, and as I reviewed it, I realized, wow, well, I'd seen a few deer from the stand, but it was obvious that at nighttime, there were a lot more deer that were coming by the down in this area. Oh, uh oh, oh, now that's okay. That's gonna, that was almost getting me as, as excited as he seems to be at the time. He's getting in some size. That was a daytime one, too. I might, I could have been there. Oh, this one's not too shabby, but we'll let him go about three more years. Now, uh oh, slow down here. Let's check this boy out. Now, I got some video of this one earlier in the summer in velvet about a mile and a half north but if you look at that the size of those antlers and realize those ears are like six inches long those brow tines have to be almost seven inches by themselves and if you start looking at some of them beams some of those tines have to be 12 to 14 inches and so as we start talking about adding up some inches now this this is really a good sized big rack 
full-size deer. And I'd seen it in earlier years. It was a lot cleaner looking. And now I think it's getting some age on it. So some of these things are starting to happen. It's November the 2nd. Ice is a rut here in Illinois. Time to sneak in and see if I can get this stand put up over here in the, near the haunts of that big drop tine buck. We can spend the night at the shack, not too far away, so we have a couple days in pursuit of mostly having a good time in the river bottoms, but if I can spot that big boy, that'd be a lot of fun. Okay, I think I, I think I got it all prepped pretty good. Got my, got the weeds down, so I got good shooting lane all the way around. I've been able to do that without stepping out onto the main trail. Some might question putting a stand up and using it the same day, but in my experience, it's your, it's your best night because nothing is suspicious. The last time they came by, everything was fine. So as long as you do your homework right and get the wind right keep your scent off the main trail. Like I say, I've had my, my best success on seeing big deer from a deer stand. Put the stand up, climb up, and sit. Well, and this time I'm gonna, I am gonna go back to the shack, not that far away, and boil up some water for some tea or coffee, and come out and probably just plan on spending the whole afternoon in my new perch. It'll be a long afternoon. I think I'll put the tea aside, green tea for later. Make up a pot of real caffeine here. That ought to keep me going. fires up I think I'll, I'll get the wood stove going because I'll probably be a little chilly when I come off that stand this evening. As I built this up I was thinking how much I missed my Minnesota birch bark and then I realized that this summer when I did this big tree thinning project out here that I dropped a lot of birch trees out there so I could have just stopped by and Salvage some bark. I'll do that before I come back again. This is good dry wood. It, it should work, but nothing like that birch bark. Twelve thirty in the afternoon. Peak of the pre-rut. I haven't hunted this yet. Nobody's been around here, so nothing should have been disturbing anything. Ready for a nice day in the woods. 
Well, the bucks are certainly out traveling. But I, what I need to tell you is that I, I really don't like chewing on these bucks. They're just tougher than, than a nice tender doe. So my goal is here, I'm out hunting for a, like a trophy buck, but otherwise I, I want to harvest some, some tender does for my meat. So we just use the camera here and these guys like this one now, he came in, he must have smelled me and he took off. So. But I've gone down now another, this is another morning and I'm at a, another stand yet. And this is down closer to the first stand that we hunted when the video started. It's a pretty nice spot if the wind's right, and I've got several deer out here the last few years. This particular morning was quiet, and I didn't see a thing, but it was still it was a great day in the woods. Another day, another hunt, and I'm back down in the river bottoms in that stand, and all the deer are moving through. Again, I want a nice tender doe, I'm sorry, but it's just really nice to watch these deer come by. And sometimes they kind of, they can sense there's something up and they'll, they'll take off other times when you just, you just watch them and they just keep on going. If the deer don't keep me occupied, the fox squirrel certainly can as they they're doing their antics and here they're trying to trying to feed and then it must be time for some fun. This buck would have kept coming and come right underneath me, but when I saw his size and realized he wasn't up to my what I wanted to take, I got the camera out and heard that and saw the motion and ran off. Again, there's always things coming by. Now, really, if you can have turkeys come walking by and they don't spot you, you're doing something right because they really have sharp eyes. Now it's time to put away the crossbow for a few days and we get the 12 gauge shotgun out with rifle slugs for the three day weekend of, of the gun hunt in Northern Illinois. I've got all my gear and I'm going to stay down there in the, sh the shack on the river bottoms for the next few nights. It'll be a short walk to the stands in the morning. Brought down a nice supply of good dry oak firewood to use up here in the next couple of days of this deer season. Who knows, maybe tomorrow morning I'll have my tags filled to go home. But it should be kind of nice being here and just having a, a short walk out to my stand in the morning instead of an eight mile drive and a one mile walk. So, should be good. I hope the weather's a little nicer tomorrow. It's pretty blustery out there today with the wind howling. Kind of nippy in here. I think I get some hot tea going. 
get the get the chill off this cabin before I start fixing supper tonight. See how cozy we can make it. Deer Camp 2021 in Illinois is coming around. Got some of last year's venison steaks. Falling out against some water. And I might eat a little later, but for now I got some nice hot tea and I I got one of Bonnie's world famous cherry pies there, kind of heating up in that frying pan. Some things never change. Woodstone's already starting to get the chill off, so. Should be cozy within the hour. It was a sunny, but chilly morning on the deer stand and we didn't see anything moving but a coyote so what I did is I went over and I, I roused my brother we went down and I, I wanted some does to eat so he did a little push for me through a little plan that always works for us and I harvested two nice does for the freezer so it's been a good day. Work there. Get the trail mode. Haul in a couple of deer at the same time. <laughs> 